Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor. I feel like this game has such a problem with its, like, name, because I... Obviously they can't call it Lord of the Rings, because, like, The Hobbit is sometimes called the prequel to Lord of the Rings, even though that's not really it. Man, that's a big problem over there. Um, but yeah, that's not really it. Arrows, you say? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> ah, yes, we can well, throw bees at people. Stay alert, just in case. <laughs> I want to see if it's possible to drag. There's the arrows. To drag that troll over here. So yeah, we can use the memory of arrows in order to, to get more arrows on the clock. You smell blood around here? No, you're imagining stuff again. So they're smelling the guy I killed. But they don't know where he is. Which is another thing that I like, because, like, I mentioned that you can write off a lot of... Because enemy stupidity is, is a big thing, you know? But because these are all orcs, like, that's what you want, you know? Hey, guys, what's going on? Like, in Far Cry... A lot of the game is like, I'm Jason, I'm fighting for my life, you know? I'm just a guy, and I have to shoot these men, because they're shooting at me. But that can kind of... Miscalculated there. That can kind of, like, go the wrong way, I feel. Because, like, stealth killing an enemy is inherently making the first move. And, like, if you're making the first move on an organization, then, like, maybe you can kind of... Maybe you can kind of justify that, but, like... Look, sometimes shooting a guy with, like, a machete is not necessarily the move, you know? You're gonna tell me what I want to hear. Oh, it's so cool! Uh, let's find out some good stuff, huh? Gura, the dumb. Should probably roll that R. Hungrily longing to become a war chief someday. Someday soon. He's at the internment camps. He's vulnerable to range attacks and can be damaged by combat finishers, presumably more so than usual. Uh, he hates ghouls. Cannot be terrified. Regenerates. And he blocks stun attacks. That could be a problem. All right. Let's get on that old uh, dusty trail, I guess. I mean, God, the whole thing is dusty. Let's be honest here. Mordor's kind of a shithole. At least this part of it is. So humans do not show up in Wraith uh, Vision. I don't know what the, like, lore reason is. It could just be that orcs are inherently cursed beings and so, sh and so show up there. The reason is because they want, like, Batman-style detective mode. There we go. You're welcome, my guys. Uh, yeah. God, this game is so good. <sighs> Such a good game. Well, this doesn't bode well. Don't see. 
prisoner created a distraction. So there's a lot of like lawful good versus chaotic evil in Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, so part of this is because this is the Wraith world. But part of it is because we have elf eyes. Slay the orc captain. Cut off the head of the snake, and the body will wither. Most things do not like having their head cut off, it's true. I must take out the eyes of the camp. Oi, tell us again about how you killed that range of filth. Shut your face! I ain't giving you the I heard the slave begging for mercy. Begging you for his life. If one more run, Go up, please. Thank you. Nope, there's nobody up here, guys. Uh, see, on the topic of like, uh, like making the first move, sometimes it's a little weird to like, because you can't really preemptively self-defense, you know? I think that that's inherently wrong. I think that there's something up about that. And granted, Far Cry 3, which is the one that I'm using for my example, has a lot of stuff with, of like, what would you do to survive? What is the morally correct option? Like, is it to... Is it to preemptively shoot a bunch of guys? Because you think that they might hurt you or your friends at some point? Uh... And, you know, it's one of those things where, like, it's not necessarily that simple. But the thing about orcs is that orcs are all chaotic evil, you know? And, like, in, in some fantasy things, it's like, you really shouldn't write off a race as all chaotic evil for any reason. And, you know, the better books don't do that. Like, for example, Aragon eventually does reverse its position, and it's like, no, not all Urgles are chaotic evil. It's just that their culture really does like violence and combat as a way of learning stuff. Uh, and, and so it just causes some problems, you know? But the thing about, uh, orcs being... Orcs are different because they're all, like, magical, you know? Like... I don't know what this game's canon is. Luga the Raven. Motive is proving he can fit more gold meat into his mouth at once than his supporters. Vulnerable to finishers, mounted beasts, and he's afraid of burning. He's invulnerable to ranged... Uh, he tries to take initiative, and he has a big attack. Thank you. Alright, who do we got here? Just him and his friend. Over there, there's some stuff. The fire pitch is where we keep the fire in case thou wasn't clear. Did I get... Oh, no, I wanted this. Yoink. My big blade to blade. You maggot. <laughs> For pity I have to kill you. You would make a strong slave. But yeah, like If we're if we're going with the idea that like they were men once corrupted by dark forces, there's kind of, it's kind of like not all How do I put this? It's partially their fault. Because some people like they they didn't get corrupted by the dark forces. They out they did use the dark forces. They did evil things. And and got stuff for it. You know? Like, um because some of the original orcs in the lore used to be elves who were just like, you know what? I do like killing people. I like being a serial killer or whatever. And so that turned them into 
Fell voices. Regenerate all focus or health for killing a guy. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Um, so it's a thing with, like, um... I don't know. What am I trying to... It's like... Is it, like, Naruto logic? Of, like, you using these dark powers, eventually you're going to twist and warp into a thing. Hey, we've got some history with this guy. Looking for a slave that fought the Black Hand of Sauron. <laughs> More like ran away from him. You know this man. Of course. You're staring at him. Then you will tell me what I want to know. Do you even know? Perhaps. This is no time to keep secrets. So they normally this is something funny, but they usually avoid saying Sauron. Just cause, you know, he's a evil demigod he's a deistic super being you kind of don't want to speak that into existence so they they physically hey it's one of the only middle earth characters that shows up here and he looks pretty good But anyway, so yeah, they try to avoid saying Sauron, but because that guy's name is the Black Hand of Sauron, uh, they have to say that name as a part of his name, which is kind of funny, you know? I like how those guys were having a conversation and I killed one when it wasn't his turn to speak and so the other one just kept talking and then he started to turn around as I was stabbing. So how far is that? Can I get a map here? Yes, thank you. These feel relatively equidistant. What's the biggest thing? An interested party. Let's do that later. I think so. Hell yeah. This game has excellent sound design. I highly recommend playing this game for yourself. Because of the Nemesis system, um, you're almost always going to find a bunch of different orcs. Ratbag is... I think the first guy that you find is... Ah, oh, it's so close, but I don't want to do it. Uh, I think Ratbag is always... No, I know for a fact that Ratbag is always uh, guaranteed. It's easier to run from uh, one orc than two. You're free. Thank you. Until you're inevitably captured by another orc captain, because, like, for God's sakes, this is Mordor we're talking about. <laughs> Look, just giving Batman a sword makes it cooler, you know? Uh, I've changed my mind. I will do the thing. Look, there's been a murder. Man fear. After him. Get back here, work. Someone's been murdered. The boy's still warm, lads. There's a killer about. 
just an orc, like, there's an imposture among us. Guffbaug is looking pretty sus. Ugh. Most rodents, Italian. It's their thing. Something of great power has left its mark on him. I sense it. And you feel he has answers. Sometimes I feel bad for Gollum, especially for stuff like this, because, like... We should find them, then. Dude, you're, you're, like, indelibly marked just because you wore the ring for so long, but you're so, like, shitty. You're so mediocre and weak and crappy. These tracks are not quite human. Not quite beast. Even more reason to investigate. Hell yes. Not even outcasts deserve this fight. The chain of man seems to always end in shackles. Be wary. This creature leads us to peril. So are those the slaves that I'm freeing, or are those just generic slaves? Oh, the tracks go there anyway. It would appear the creature is an apt climber. Game of slaves finally escaped. So yeah, the guys who are in Mordor are, are all um Cut the lights at the knees. They can dig on stumps. The 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 men in Mordor are a little like less morally good than the people living elsewhere because like if you were here you'd kinda be a bad guy, right? Speaking of roasting flesh over the fire. You can interrupt your uh You can interrupt your takedown in order to get that combo off and I like that a lot. Now that I've tenderized you. Oh, it's so good. I was waiting on that one actually. That's my favorite one. Uh, that's an archaic use of the word suffer. Kuga Madai. Angry that the slaves aren't working harder. And because this guy isn't a coward, we don't know any more of his details. Uh, but that's something that Aragorn says, and it's used very intentionally here. Because that's a cool, archaic use of the word. Suffer can mean, um, like that you are suffering. That you're going through pain or torture, but you may come out strong on the other side. Uh, but suffer in the archaic sense can also be used to mean allow. Consider its use in the phrase, suffer not a witch to live, and the variations therein of that. Yes. So we can't get a second here. There was stealth kill for like a single frame there. That's a shame. That's a big meaty guy. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's do that just to get some guys away from me, huh? So we can also put stuff into this. And now, we can rune up our sword some more. Thank you, Ranger. Cool. 
I guess those are all the slaves. So those were the slaves, but it counted the one slave who was just randomly placed there. <laughs> the spider's attacking them. That's funny. But yeah, the logic is that, like, if you're in Mordor, you're probably of, like, less moral uh, culpability. So the humans here are all more willing to do bad stuff. Use bad powers, use bad magic. That sort of thing. And the logic there is that, um... Like, hey, sometimes you gotta. But the thing is, in... Uh, in, like, Lord of the Rings... Normally, they don't really do that. Bats! Uh, they don't usually play with, like, evil power. And using the ring is, like, a very bad idea. And the idea is that eventually, like... Hey, no matter how good it seems at the time, it's eventually going to be a bad idea. You know what I mean? What manner of spell is this? A loss Italian. You remember? Broken images, yes. And now I wish that I didn't. Your family was perhaps that pain. So in that first cutscene, the Black Hand and his bros are summoning uh, this guy. And he's like, hey, Elf Lord, come to me. And then it's the camera's looking at him. And then it instead snaps to Talion. And the camera zooms into his face because... Nice. And we get a Steam Achievement for the Bright Master. Oh, I want that. They must have tracked the categories here. Hunter should be dealt with quickly. Yeah, range guys can be a problem. Yeah, I feel like most of my damage in this game comes from ranged combat, you know? That thing's helping me, but I need to I need to start working on its health. Uh-oh. So this is the thing, you get you get one more chance in order to try to maybe like keep it going. Well that shouldn't have worked. Bingo. Very messy, but that's okay. lurks around here somewhere. Akave. He will remember precious. We will make him. Yes, yes, yes. We must have it back. We must have it. It's a decent voice. Quiet. I think it's uh Andy Circus who does Gollum. I don't know who's doing this golem. I don't know if it's Andy Circus though. Thank 
you could sneak up on me so easily, eh? My camera's in third person. I can see behind myself. What does he know of it? Bright master. Yes, we know hers. Bright master came to us in our dreams. Golem biting fingers. So yeah, Gollum has respect for this guy. And like, if Gollum respects you, I don't know if that means I respect you, you know? But this is a cool concept that I really like, you know? The cough is good. And they, they nailed that part. In uh, the Wooly versus playthrough of Dark Souls. A pathetic creature, Gollum has all but forgotten his original name. He was Smeagol, a hobbit corrupted by the, beyond redemption by the power of the One Ring. He obtained the ring, affectionately called My Precious, through treachery, and took it to a new home under the Misty Mountains. Under the ring's evil influence, he lived for centuries, his mind destroyed and his body twisted into a pale skeletal form. Sorry, I'm just looking at the comparison here. Okay, maybe it's all right. The text looks kind of blurry in in the video. It doesn't look as that. Uh, it doesn't look like that on on my PC. I run the benchmark and I can run this game easy at at solid thirty, but I didn't run it with um, OBS on. I guess I could have run it with OBS on though, because OBS might drop my frame rate, um, or the uh, the quality of it. Spe uh, pale scale to form. The orcs he preyed on call him Gollum after his horde co choking cough. The name snuck. Smeagol was no more. After four centuries, the ring grew restless and sought a new owner in the Hobbit. Does that mean the guy or the book? Bilbo Baggins. But Gollum has not forgotten his precious. He's journeyed in Mordor to find it, drawn to the power of the Ringmaker. Because the ring was forged in Mordor. Yeah, don't try to fight. I know you're a coward. I can smell it on you. Oh, I love that. I love this game. So you can see that this guy is still dead. This guy is not dead anymore. And has been replaced by somebody we don't know. Who is it? Why, it's Crosh the Slayer, of course. Reveling in the supremacy of the orcs is his motive. He's an ambusher. He's vulnerable to stealth and ranged attacks. And beasts. He hates Grogs. He's fearless. And he's a humiliator. But yeah, I guess there's no point in, like, um... Like, because normally, you, if you're going to interrogate a guy, you get him off easy, you know? You don't beat him up as much. Or you don't kill him where you kill the other ones. But in this game, like, if you're just going to rip the information out of their mind, like, you may as well kill them. Just orcs, you know? That's a fat one. So what's this here then? Please help me rescue my brother. He's far too stubborn to work for these Uruk. Now is our best chance. 
Sorry, what? You don't show up in the Wraith world. Uh-oh. Well, that ain't good. Well, this is you seem unwell. Let me ease your pain forever. This has gone from bad to worse. Can I interest you uh Karagoras in some orc meat? You're not worth the nick you put in my blade. Yeah, I kinda figured that that was gonna happen. Also, I don't know if you heard that. Sir, please. Hey guys, sorry, I'll be right with you. Hmm? What's happening, Italian? Okay. I should be safe up here. Oh yeah, I can get a little more out of you, huh? Oh man. Oh yeah, so I talked about this tattoo last episode, but I actually have this thing. It's somewhat difficult to see thanks to the uh, camera angle that I have. Uh, but that's El Kun, which is uh, just Sindarin for Elvish Prince. An oi by need is nearby, you say? Grisha, Grisha Bloodhand? That's an even newer guy. Get some schlip, huh? Some good old pipe weed. Hi there. <laughs> Boy, is that a big problem for me? Pardon me, sir. Can I interest you in Karagor? Yes. Oh, I hate your beard, dude. So, can you be finished? Partially. We will be together again, man thing, when the time is right. <laughs> Damn, that ain't good. Maybe I can grab something, huh? Detonate, ride Karagor. I'm getting distracted. I really should just be on the main quest. But I got like 90% of his health down. That's not 90%. But I got a good chunk of it down. Can I get... I can. Oh, oh, I see somebody's running to a Karagor. <laughs> so yeah, that can happen. 
Karagoras can solve your problem. And based on the mini map, I can see that he's moving away. Oh, maybe he's changed his mind. And I have no elf shot, so I cannot deal with that problem myself. After a battle, I need food and grog. Instead, we get nothing but a lot of noise from the boss. <laughs> You'll get a lot more nothing if you keep whining about it. Oh, it's so cool. But yeah, I feel like this game is, um, for those of you who've seen the movie, I hope you have, uh, for those of you who've seen the movie, I feel like this game is like, what would happen if we went with what Boromir was saying, you know? What if we just used a little bit of the enemy's, you know, quote unquote, great power against him? Would that be okay? And, like, for anything else, it would be. But, like, this doesn't... Like, Slippery Slope does not even begin to describe it. You literally get magically corrupted and turn into, you know, stuff for doing... Oh, hiccup, sorry. For doing that sort of thing, like... And maybe there even are some things that you could use uh, from the enemy. You know? But the problem with dealing with uh, Sauron or uh, uh, Morgoth... Nice. So what's this? Increases melee damage at high hit streaks. Above 30, though. Yowza. Yeah, this game is like, I feel like this game is almost a, a thing of just like, what would happen if we did do what Boromir said? It would be bad. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be good, is what would happen. I keep hitting the wrong button to go into the Wraith World. I keep hitting up because Arkham City uh, has it as LB, which is where it is in this game. Uh, but for whatever reason, well, I know why, but in Batman Arkham Knight, which I played most recently... Uh, in Arkham Knight, they change it to be uh, up on the D-pad. So I keep trying to activate Wraith World by going up on the D-pad. And uh, Crackhorn. Crackhorn the Brown, a veteran captain. Uh, suffice to say, that's going to get people killed at some point. Sauron's Uruks relentlessly abuse lesser Uruks in their violent struggles for power. Investigate how the power of the Wraith can exploit these struggles. Piercing weak minds to bring down, uh, bring down the enemy forces from within. One Orc mind, in particular, shines as a blaring beacon of weakness. So this is where we start using Orcs against other Orcs.
So I think Gora, Goroth Karagor Tamer is also, uh, like, canonical, you know? He has strengths, he has weaknesses. They can only be exploited if you gather intel. I love faffing about. Come with me, <laughs> so yeah, I love this. You, can't trust you get orcs on your side. That's blatant racism. Because orcs will also totally stab you in the back. We have similar goals, Ranger. See, you want to kill the captain. Somebody's got to take his place. Somebody like Ratbag. <laughs> so this Goroth is in charge? Of this camp, yeah. But he's no war chief. They answer directly to the Black Hand. I'll show them all when I'm in the Black Hand's inner circle. Becoming a captain is just the first step of Ratbag's plan to become a war chief. Then prepare to step hard on his neck. So yeah, like, th this is a thing that I like, because obviously, like, Sauron is a big guy. How did you get free, scum? Defenders. They have shields. Get the ranger, not me! He's a much easier target! His sword's broken! Coward. Leave the vermin alone! And face me, Urux! <laughs> Let's get over there and put a stop to this, eh? Whoops. There we go. Well done, Ranger. Now, just picture all these corpses as Gorov. Visualize your goals. Gorov's been out for Ratbag for years. Smug piece of donger he is. We come to blows as far back as Ratbag can remember. Still, Ratbag never wins. Last time, he kicks Ratbag into the Karagor pit. All the others laugh as a Karagor bats right back around like a yawn ball. Oh yeah, wargs are like evil orc wolves. Karagors are evil like orc cats, you know? And let me guess, you think I should open those pens? Gorov's always in there, never leaves, ever. Wonder where he pees. Oh, that explains the smell. Keep out of sight. I'll see that your captain gets demoted. Splendid plan. You kill, I wait. That's military genius, that is. Captain Gorov's right up ahead. I'm salivating with anticipation. The drool of revenge. Yuck, dude. Oh, man, that's a lot of orcs. So yeah, this is those, because like obviously Sauron is a big scary guy and he's a problem. And spoilers for Lord of the Rings, he has a lieutenant, Sar Saruman. It, it feels weird to spoil Lord of the Rings. I know that the movies are 20 years old now and that the books are uh, coming up on 100. 
But like I still want to avoid spoiling them. Uh But yeah, that's just the thing, you know? But, like, an army cannot really be commanded by one guy. Maybe it could have been commanded by just Morgoth. But, you know, that's that's not a guy. So you can see that he goes to pull the horn. And I obviously got to put a stop to that, so... Oh, can I just climb this? I can. Let's shimmy on over to here. Oh, uh, hell yeah. But yeah, that's the thing, because, like, you obviously need more guys than just like one or two guys and like Sauron has himself he has the black hand he has Saruman but like you you do need some middle management there and the thing is like if your middle management is orcs then that becomes a problem But yeah, it just it just makes a problem for itself when your middle management is orcs because orcs are all like not great at that sort of thing. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention this. Uh orcs are not supposed to be a race. Like orcs really aren't <laughs> you so you can hear better uh, with Wraith mode on, but we're too far away to hear him. But uh, like a lot of Lord of the Rings is supposed to be symbolic in some form. Fortification of my house made in stones of memory. Oh, so good. But yeah, it's not meant to be like a literal interpretation of anything. Uh, some people have assumed uh, erroneously that Tolkien was racist and thought that orcs were supposed to be black people, but that is, uh, like, just straight up incorrect. He said as much himself. Let me see if there's any, like, lone orcs, because I want to drain someone and get elf shot back. Y'all listen to this fucking guy? I swear. I guess this guy will do, right? I once wrestled three cannibals at once. All my bare hands. And I snapped their necks just by looking at them. I snapped their necks with my arms. Not that. There we go. Fire. <laughs> but yeah, um... The way that uh, Professor Tolkien describes it, he says that in World War I, where he did fight, uh, they were all orcs, you know? Not just Germans, but like Americans and Brits and the French. They were all orcs. Orcs are just aggression. They're letting your anger run away with you. Which maybe could imply that there are supposed to be good orcs, you know? Or that an orc can overcome those, like, deep-seated feelings 
of aggression and corruption, you know? Obviously, like, post... How do I put this? Like, post-Reformation orcs, I feel like it's almost like... I want to say post-Blizzard. I really don't want to give them credit for it because uh, Blizzard has been historically pretty bad, especially recently with all the news coming out. I want to say allegations, but, like, I feel like just calling them allegations really diminishes how much actual evidence there is. Like, the allegations of this video evidence, you know? That sort of thing. This is a problem. He's immune to range, but you aren't. I wonder if I can just drain him. To an extent, yes. Without even grabbing him, I forgot that. Hold on, we gotta track you down again. The fact that they trip is so funny. Yeah, there we go. After power struggles, battle reports, well, yada, 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 recap it. So orcs will duel on their own, but in this one we manufactured it. And we made it look like Ratbag did it all by himself. He didn't. It was all me. Hey, you two. The fish hole. The fact that they just eat so much fish. Yeah, Ratbag's cowardice is, like, why he hasn't been able to advance very far on his own. But it's also why we're able to control him so well. I've got more bodies for you to carry. Meet me at the crossroads. An old friend there is about to lose his head. <laughs> but yeah, I do really like... Oh my god, I've been recording for an hour. <laughs> I got too into the fun. <laughs> oh, goodness. That should do it for this episode, then, because, oh, gosh, I've been recording for an hour. I had no idea. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This has been uh, Middle, Earth, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, colon, Middle Earth, colon, Shadow of Mordor. And it gets even worse in the DLCs, you know? Colon, Lord of the Hunt, or whatever it's called. But yeah, uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you had fun. I really did. You can tell because I forgot how long I was supposed to record for. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.